Good morning, everybody. This is a, a bit of a whodunit mystery called Rookie Detective, and I'd like to introduce it briefly. So we have a visual text with all sorts of uh, interesting dimensions and clues to it. And we have a written text down here with all sorts of textual clues to it. So you could see it starts off at five feet six and 110 pounds. Queenie Volupides was a sight to behold and to clasp. When she tore out of the half out of the house after a tiff, her husband Arthur, she went to the country club where there was a party going on. So right in that first paragraph, there's a number of interesting pieces of information or data that we might want to collect in order to try to solve the mystery of what happened in this situation. So why don't you pause the video now and take a look at your document and collect as many clues as you can from both the visual and the written text that will help you piece things together patiently and slowly in a way that will lead you to a good conclusion. Okay, enjoy. What we have here is a prompt. Take a look, read the prompt, and then you can resume where you left off. And I highly advise writing down uh, collections, a collection of evidence, both from the picture and from the text. And notice, evidence is things we know for sure. Evidence is not hypotheses or hunches or guesses. Evidence is things we know for certain and for sure. Okay, here we have a sample response to the prompt. And I'm going to read the prompt very briefly. Compose a persuasive one paragraph report that presents two conclusions to this investigation, an expert conclusion and a rookie conclusion. Although you will fairly present the thinking behind both conclusions, you will want to be sure to demonstrate why one should be accepted over the other. Therefore, your report will ultimately present two lines or chains of reasoning. In other words, two arguments. You will demonstrate why one conclusion, the rookie conclusion, appears quite plausible, but is in fact unlikely or untrue. And you will showcase why the other conclusion, the expert conclusion, is indeed true and should be accepted. Compose this enjoyable to read report third person, not first person point of view. Professionalism matters. And good luck. So please pause the video now and read through this sample response. Pretty good. And here we have a color coded version of the same paragraph. And uh, please note how a rookie conclusion is the best version of a rookie conclusion that can be offered, but it's still uh, short of the expert conclusion. I will read it, and if you prefer to read it yourself, feel free to pause. It's easy to assume that Queenie killed Arthur, but that conclusion is too strong. However, the evidence does point to Queenie as a strong suspect. So right here, this student chose to include the rookie and the expert conclusion right there in the opening statement. And as you can see, here we get the rookie case. To be sure, even a rookie detective could see that Queenie might have had a motive to kill her husband. After all, they had a recent tiff and fighting is often an indicator of deeper problems. Queenie also had the means to kill Arthur. Just look at the frying pan on the stove. She could have burned off the blood and hair from the bottom of the pan, thereby destroying the physical evidence. Arthur's body position also suggests that he was hit from behind on his way up the stairs, and the combined impact of the frying pan and the floor would be sufficient to kill him. But these theories of murder are merely speculative. 
None of them can be proven with the available evidence. Therefore, it's a mistake to conclude with certainty that Queenie is a murderer. A stronger conclusion, and here comes the expert, is that Queenie's testimony is inaccurate and that she needs to be brought downtown for questioning. Again, she said that Arthur slipped and fell while coming downstairs to refill his cocktail glass. But the fact that he's still holding the glass suggests that he probably didn't fall down the stairs with that glass in his hand, as his wife claimed. Why? Because people drop what they're holding in order to brace their fall. So Queenie's story is leakier than the Titanic. At minimum, she has misrepresented the truth and therefore must be suspected of hiding something. However, as any seasoned detective knows, hiding and killing are two different things. Recommendation, take Queenie in for serious questioning, swab the crime scene, putting that glass for prints and for fibers, and be sure to double check that pan. Okay, I, I've also included, uh, this is my guess of the students' highlights and annotations. And you can see in yellow uh, a number of pieces of evidence were highlighted. And in bold, these are the pieces of those highlights that made it into the actual paragraph. So, for instance, slipped and fell is bolded here. And here we see slipped and fell here. So this is a pretty good model. There are many other ways that this could have been written. But uh, I hope this is helpful as you move on with your own investigations. Good luck.